Hey guys, so this, in this video we're going to be trying to see how fast and if we can even beat the medium King of Tombs era saga dungeon. Because now I got both King of Tomb and Silex at like level 110 when they were both at rank 0 for the easy dungeon. So I want to see, um, does that help me a lot? Can I beat this easy, easier or like just as easily as I beat the easy dungeon now? I don't know, where do I find out? And Silex was sunburn. Man, that really came in handy. The hair, the... the, the uh, uh, yeah, we got, we got all run up. Oh yeah, hey guys, I think there's a, a new relic that I haven't crafted yet, because every season they come out with like two new relics, right? And I've only seen the one that came out, which is the staff, which is Merc's staff, it's very powerful. Now you can craft a Zaron staff, but I personally wouldn't if I were you. So, but what is the other thing? What is the other relic? So I'm gonna go check it out after I'm done with this. If it's OP enough, I'll craft it and make an entire video off it. But like, you know, with Zyron staff and Sigrun fourth sword, <coughs> I didn't even craft them because they weren't worth it. Like, there's some relics, some obsidian relics that just ain't worth it, you know? Like Jackpack's banner. There's no incentive to having all of the relics. Other than maybe every single situational use, you could use them. <clears throat> so I don't see the use in, like, wasting my time trying to get, like, craft Jack Pack's banner when I'm never, ever going to use it, you know? Like, I'd rather use that as fodder to just increase the level of, like, my King Alaroks. No, my King Autumns. <laughs> Autumns. Of my King Autumns. Armor, Killer Oaks armor. That's why I was getting so tongue twisted of upgrading the Killer Oaks armor that I have on King of Tomb. Now I've just finished the live duels video, which if you don't pay for the bounty hunt monster, you'll always see the bounty hunt monster in live duels because they're trying to get their like money's worth. And like yes, yeah, Serpent Text was just dominant. Now luckily, you'll only really see Serpent Text like. On the attack teams, like, no one's gonna waste such an amazing pierce attacker on their defense team. So, like, just have anticipation ready, because people were legit, like, they didn't even care that I had anticipation, they were just turn transferring into him, because they knew he would instant kill. <clears throat> and they were right, let me tell you. Ricky's Assault. So yeah, a bit more tanky, but now so are we. Look at that. That much over 1 million health, King Autumn. Hardest rock, fast one. <gasps> King Autumn has new moves. <gasps> oh my god, I need to equip his newer moves. He's gonna be OP now. Well, as close to his final form as I'll get until I get, like, more battle pass credits and then I can get him to rank 2. Because already, I've wasted, like, 270 nectar on him. But you know, I plan on getting him to rank 5, one of the few monsters that I know from the get-go I'm getting to rank 5. So, kinda worth it. Powerful fifth. Alright, this move doesn't actually heal him, so I'm hesitant to keep it. <clears throat> now look at this. Heavy sandstorm to all. Plus 20% heal to himself. Let's go. And it's literally got the same cost. Final Awaken? Nah. I think I'd rather run... Ooh, Diamond Assault, maybe? <coughs> Damage Mirror, life increased by 50. Okay, so that, that 100. Hmm, I'm very tempted to replace that with Diamond Assault. <coughs> you know what, I'll keep it like this. I'm not sure what I'll replace when I have the Mega Sun. Probably one of these, like this one. Even though it heals by 100. But it just doesn't have as much use, you know? Alright, so let's get into it. Boom, instant sleep. Instant kill. You really didn't need a waste of hidden shiv on a rare monster, dog. 
Oh wait, can you hardly hear me? I'm so sorry, I didn't know the volume was that loud. Ricky's Assault. <coughs> Hidden Shift kicks in. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to be too overconfident, but I think I can beat this. Boom, wow. The damage mirror plus the relic killed him. You know what, I think double Tertillion's armor would actually be... Ooh, I don't know if it'd be more powerful because that stamina and health regeneration just helps him just be OP in every section. But... Mm. Oh yeah, and the shot spiral. <coughs> I'm not sure... Honestly, at once he gets higher, once he gets that 25% damage mirror, I'm not gonna run Nishant Spiral because, like, that means when you do damage to him, he won't be getting any use out of his damage mirror or his damage mirror skill. So, basically immune to everything now, including damage. <coughs> boom, boom. Bro, but Nishant setting up, like, everybody against each other. Like, first off, it's kind of cringe that every single era, it's the dark monsters that are evil. Like, last monster was the dark and fire. But still. You know? Like, it's never, like, a group of people that can actually make sense to be any element. Like, Magic Council, that would have been a great, great team of villains. Because, like, well. There, it actually makes sense for a council of magicians to be multiple elements. You know? And they're magicians. They could fight pretty darn well. But, like, with just another dark monster... Also, they're creating a Frankenstein. And let me tell you right now, I am betting on this. They didn't get a tomb's armor in the Era Saga, right? So what I think they're gonna do is they're gonna get Nabotus's armor and create a fusion of, like, Nabotus... And another monster, and then we're gonna have just like a new rampant anticipation monster that just instant kills. <sighs> I'm telling you, I'm calling it. I want to see that that Frankenstein monster though, like whatever it is, whatever it's planned to be. I want to see it next season. Like I am a very impatient man when it comes to cliffhangers in this in Monster Legends lore. You know, cause like in sneak peeks, it's gonna get leaked anyways. So, might as well tell me soon, you know? So that I'm like, oh, I actually want that guy, you know? Although, I do think Nishant, he's a great anticipation monster, and the fact that I don't have him at rank B means I'm not reaping the benefits of his status caster magic weakness, which is just really great. Because that multiplies your damage by a good amount, and he just has a devilishly strong power stat, so... <clears throat> yes, I love that AoE, because now it, like, heals and it gets Sandstorm, and now it's heavy damage. Which, not like it makes a difference on a non-attacker, but still nice. Bro, that's Tertillion's armor. Just really rips into some people. So yeah, the Rocky Peaks monsters are admittedly really hard to win with because they are sustainable positive effect removers. Like, that's what most of them are. And that's just, you know, facing Van Dagma, who also sustainable. It's kind of annoying. I gotta fix this myself or it's gonna take forever. Boom. Rock Sparks, Sunburn. Recharge. Recharge. <laughs> Do not heal yourself again. Oh my goodness. Do, do, do. Is that every two turns he can do that? Come on, attack me. I want you to attack me, Van Dagma. No! Arga. This is getting annoying. Rock Army Assault. Remove that. Don't do it again. Okay. Rock Sparks. Ricky's Attack. No, we were so close.
the biggest rock. Um. Oh my God. What is it gonna take to kill you, dog? Sunburn plus sandstorm, so now you're dead, finally. <clears throat> that is going to be an absolute pain to fight in the hard dungeon. I have, in fact, already forgot what King Autumn's Cross does, if I ever knew. <clears throat> Let me see, what are we fighting for? <laughs> Oh, skill mirror. Yeah, he's a great monster to have skill mirror on. And when you kill an enemy, he might get a hundred percent shield. Ooh, okay, that's too good to pass up. I need to persevere. I'm not gonna read lore because I'm trying to speed run this kind of. You know, see how quickly I can beat this if I even can. Now I think in the last dungeon they're using like a bunch of stamina draining relics, and they have like level X rooms, and they're at like level 130, so it's gonna get real annoying. You know, like, if you thought that Van Dacma fight was annoying, wait until we're fighting, like, the dark monsters at the end. Boom. That, like, on the, his light attacks, <coughs> Silex's light AoE is just a lifesaver, bro. Like, if I was just doing Earth on Earth over and over, and Earth on Dark Monsters, <coughs> boy, would that take forever. But at least with this, I can take my time. Now, I wonder, I always want to see, like, I want to see a chart of canonically how big some monsters are supposed to be. Like, if SP designed, or, like, came up with a team to make canonical additions to the community that would just add a lot, It'd be sick. Like, I don't even know if there's an official map of Petra and all these places. Because it seems like they just pull things out of nowhere. And they're like, yep, that exists. You can't prove it didn't. <coughs> you know, so. This is kind of annoying. Like, they're doing a lot of world building. But it, I don't know. Just, I don't know. I'm sorry. When I don't know how to continue off something, I say I don't know, and then I end up saying that a couple times. Which I hope you guys enjoy this with my commentary more than just like, just watching it play through with some uncopyrighted music just playing. Because I know that's what some YouTubers do. But in my opinion, watching these videos and getting the commentary is like the best part, because you get to see what they know about these old monsters. If I, when looking at these monsters, I feel like they would be in the royal court. They look like they'd at least be an ally to them. Just because of how, like, royal King Autumn looks. And then Rycloffs, Rycloffs is just in his own world. With his, like, baby rock. Ricky. And yes, you gotta wait for these roulettes. Because it's, the rewards here are so worth it. Like, these rewards here help justify buying this thing. I spent a lot of gems today, so I want my gems back. Or at least refunded or reimbursed. This is how I'm going to do it. Because it's all AoE plus hidden shift damage. Ricky attack, hidden shift, evil charms. Okay. Dirty cut. Ew, that, that sounds nasty. Okay, so they are getting tanky. <clears throat> like, I wouldn't say they're quite there yet, but they're getting there. Like, 200 health on... I'm gonna get it. That goblin's name, what is it? Is it... Gobslayer, okay. That's one of those names where you're like, um... It's, uh... uh you just scratch your head for a while because it's so oddly specific. Like, there's some monsters who you only remember their name because they're made of. <clears throat> like, other monsters, like Gobslayer, who people just got and never looked at again. Like, typically not remembered. 
There's Dork. There it is. It's all mind you guys. This is the second time I think we've ever seen a double element monster. No, a double single element monster. Because now he's double earth. And the only, the first double element monster was Warmaster Ragnarok. So, if you ever seen a sneak peek, a monster is the same element twice. Assume he's going to be super meta and start crying because they're going to charge you for it. Like, there's no way they're going to give away a monster with two elements for free. <laughs> like, sad to say. Alright. Hit me. Boom. Dang. I wish these were some more powerful attackers so that, like, when I'm reflecting damage, it's not just like, ow. It'd be more like, ah. Just scream. <laughs> also, I'm really conflicted on the fact that this immune to torture, immune to control move doesn't, like, it doesn't actually heal you. It says it's supposed to, but it doesn't actually. It's just very frustrating, you know? Like, I want what I paid for. Oh, she gives reverse healing to herself and her opponent? I've never seen that. That is actually a great counter to this guy. Luckily, I'm not running any healing moves. No, no regeneration moves. Traveling rock kills. Whoop, a moth just flew on me. Spin the roulette. Oh my god, please load. There we go. Already thousand health. Gonna fight you, and then it's Dark Monsters from after here, which Silex makes that thankfully pretty easy. I can't think of any. Oh, there's um, there's Rock Arch Druid. Him and Silex are two Earth and Light monsters. Rock Army Assault. You know what's funny? If I told anybody who I like, I knew that I had this YouTube channel, and they saw how many videos I posted today, day, they'd think I'm insane. Like, how many? I posted, like, I've been on a binge of, like, seven to nine videos every single day lately. Which, that is just, I feel like, commitment some people don't even have to school. Although, this is, like, a passion for me. Kind of a shame that Danny Source isn't metal and earth. I think that would have like it wouldn't have helped him much, but it he just another monster who seems like he'd be two elements. Also, I had like I when I checked in the monster book mon in the monstergram, I was so shocked. I honestly, <clears throat> and when I say honestly, I mean I'm not even joking. I genuinely thought that. Brucelin was a corrupted no not a corrupted I thought it was a doomsday monster like that was like for sure in my brain I was like oh this was a corrupted monster I didn't even go for it and then it's like oh no that was actually um much better than a corrupted monster it was a D blossom era monster and I'm like what like you're not joking which I wish there was like a discord for monster legends users not like an official forum where you can't really just say anything, it's just an information site. Like, just a Discord to talk about ML. You know? Just celebrate the community. Um, boom, you're dead. <coughs> Which, you see, it's already taken a while to kill them. Like this. So, cleanse. Bro, what is that? That is not a part of your trait. Why can't I cleanse it? 50% shield to all. Sunburn, finally you'll die. Hard as a diamond. <coughs> oh, there's a zero stamina, zero cooldown move that he has. That does, like, the vampire effect. What is it called? Lifesteal. I wish, I wish he had that. 
because then he could like steal as much as I'm reflecting and I'd feel really good. But yeah, they also Oh what? Huh? Excuse me. How powerful is that finisher? <clears throat> what is it? Like insane to all? Jeez. Because, like, he wasn't even doing very much damage, and then he just does half a million to, like, everybody. I have no idea what that finisher does. So. Boom, boom. Fighting Shadonia. I gotta check on something real quick. I'm just gonna leave y'all here. I don't know how quickly this note is gonna finish. Oh, that was it. Okay, so give me a moment. Oh, five gems, finally. I haven't even gotten gems out of this thing yet. So there's Nishant's pet. Now I'm kind of disappointed that Nishant, like, his finisher isn't just a bunch of Nishant's pets coming down and eating the enemies. So I feel like that's such a cool finisher idea. <sighs> so, sweet. Thankfully, this isn't as hard as I thought it'd be, because I thought this would be like, like I would just be sitting there for 20 minutes trying to beat one node, because that, I don't know if any of you guys can relate. If you got 150s, then you can't relate, but if you've got like 115s, 120s, then you can relate to trying to beat a hard dungeon, and you're just like, I'm just sitting there waiting. I keep doing the match, waiting until I get my finisher, because in in the case, and only in the case that I get my finisher, I can win. <sighs> so, like, I'm patient with these things. But, I'm patient, but not dumb. Like, I know I can't beat the hard dungeon with this team. At least not yet. When I rank up King of Tomb, and I rank up Silex, yeah, I can beat it. Maybe. Actually, because, well, <sighs> Maybe at rank 4, King of Tomb can deal with that. Still. Great monster. But he's fighting a dark attacker at the boss. Like, it's not gonna be easy. So, boom. I'm almost finished. Yeah, 25 nodes in this video was almost 25 minutes. But it was less, so that means... Le <clears throat> Plus, I had to take a couple of, like ranking up the monsters and stuff. So, I had a good profit margin. Like, I'm doing these matches pretty quickly, and the Van Dagma one took a while on its own. Boom, comes back to life. Assault. If you would've eaten that dot, you would've died. Thank goodness that didn't land, because there's no cleansing on this team. Like, I can't cleanse my own team with this team, so... Thank goodness for Rycloth being in this book. He's just a saving grace. Because <clears throat> Metropolitan Monsters, they still feel like they hit like a truck sometimes. And like, I, I hate Killdrow. Like, with a pa burning passion. <clears throat> because like, people just run him hoping he's going to hit his finisher. And when he does, like, in Team Wars, you'll be like, oh, why is they running a, a Killdrow? And then you fight them, and then they, he does his finisher with Pierce, and then your entire team is dead, and you just lost. You get salty, I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah. That is a... <coughs> that is a hard thing to fight here. I wish, I wish he had a move like Reconstruction where he could cleanse and give himself a shield. So damage mirror. Oh, I don't, I want his photophobic shield gone now because I want to see that damage mirror in action. Go and bleed. She's immune to bleed. Like I said on in my review of her, you know that immunity to bleed isn't that great, but so many monsters do bleed that it's kind of good. 
Oh, it's only a one turn damage mirror? That's, who runs that? Mega possession? I got. Luckily, he's only got support moves, so I'm, I have no reason to worry. At least you healed yourself, right? <coughs> Boom. Killed. So this is as good as one, basically. Shield. Is that massive or very heavy? Hard as a diamond. Arcane Smite kills you instead. And boom. We've just beat the King Autumn's <coughs> medium dungeon. It didn't even take that long. And boom. Yeah, so that's that. Now I know I cannot beat the hard dungeon yet, so I'm just going to wait for him to get to like rank 3. But yeah, I hope. Thank you. I mean, I already got Forge Lives, but thank you. <coughs> so I sincerely hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. I will respond. Oh, this is even better for him. If you guys don't know Rocky, like, right, Ricky, he is my, like, He's just my spirit animal. So yeah, please leave a like. Leave a comment. I will respond. Subscribe to join the Crab Army. Uh, we're, re we're getting real close to 20 subscribers. So you know, please press that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Your favorite Omni's Crab, signing out.